Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Karen Rutan from Karen Rutan Fitness. You can follow me on Facebook at Karen Rutan Fitness. You can email me at KarenRutanFitness at Yahoo.com or you can give me a ring at 330-647-8124. Please remember that by partaking in this video, you are assuming all risks and all liabilities. I'm not in the same room with you. I cannot correct form. I cannot correct technique. Please remember to work at your own pace, not feel obligated to keep up with me. Do what you could do following all of your physician's directives. If I'm telling you to do something, you know you're not supposed to be doing it, don't do it. Watch all the exercises first, then follow along. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment in the comment box. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Glance around your room, make sure there are no tripping hazards. Anything down to a small animal or a throw rug can be a tripping hazard for you. Make sure that you have plenty of room to lift your arms. Take a step from one side, take a step to the other side, and you are cautious of all of your surroundings. This is a special exercise video today. I completely wrote this workout out for a client. It doesn't mean that you can't follow along with it. It's just made specifically for somebody, but I figured it would be nice to post this. That way anyone that needs a low intensity, low impact exercise can benefit from this particular video. I do try to encourage drinking water. I do have a water sitting right off to the side, so make sure that you guys have a water handy. If you need to take a break at any point in time, pause the video, grab a drink of water. I'm not going to stop the video to take water breaks for this video. We will be using a ball. We, we will be using hand weights, two of them. I have lighter weights. And then we're going to be using a resistance band. You could use heavier weights if you desire. Now some of the exercises for this video I'm going to do seated. Some of the exercises I'm going to do standing. If you need to modify, modify to suit you. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the warm up. This workout should take roughly about an hour. Full body, low intensity, low impact. So right here, we're going to start with marching. And of course, you can modify this to suit you. You don't even have to lift the foot off the floor. You can move those hips. Just keep the arms moving at any heart rate to come up. We're going to warm up each muscle group. We're going to warm up each joint. March wide. Close your hands. Punch 
now. Keep those legs moving. Open wide, side to side, chest to side. Hands on the hips, circle. Circle down, left hand 
hands up. Take it back, grip your chair, open the chest, relax your right hand down to the floor, balance your apple, turn the nose right, look over the shoulder, face center. Right here, I'm just making sure that the neck is stretched out and that the upper back stretched out. Last one. Bring it center, let's do spine. Rest your hands on your lap. Let's look up to where the wall meets the ceiling. Let's round the upper back forward, tuck the belly button into the spine, squeeze your shoulders together, elbows are rounded outward, and sit up nice and tall. Curl it in, sit up tall, curl it in, sit up tall, curl it in, sit up tall. Last one, curl it in, sit up, nice and tall. Let's keep our elbows in, let's take our palms up, and we're sitting with our hands, our palms are at 90 degrees. We're gonna rotate out, bring it in. One, two, three, four. Rest your hands. Let's take the heel out. We're seated at the front of the chair where the wood leads the hamstring or the thick part of our leg meets our behind. Slide it in. One, two, three, four. Knee to chest. One, two, three, four. Step out of the car. Pull it right back in. Please make sure you're center on the chair so you do not fling yourself out of the car. One, two, shoulders, hips, stay forward. Three, four, left heel out. One, two, three, four, knee to chest. One, two, three, four, step out. One, Two, three, four, tap the toes. One, two, three, four, heels. One, two, three, four, arms up, toes in, hands in, take them out. And in, out, and in, out, and in, out, and in. Arms down, step right. Left knee's gonna come down into our seated lunge. I wanna make sure that you're nice and centered on that chair that you're not leaning too far into the center of the room. Let's check our front foot. Make sure that that knee is stacked on top of the ankle. Back knees down to the floor. Let's take our left hand out. Let's reach it forward. Let's release, extend the low back. Keep that hand up shoulder level. Reach it forward. Release, extend. Reach it forward. Release, extend two more times. Reach it forward. Extend. Last one. Bring it up. Release the arm. Bring the leg up. We'll walk yourself center. Step right, step left. Thighs open. We're at the front of our chair. Chin is up. Let's hinge forward from the hip, not from the upper back, not from the waist. And don't look directly down. You can look down and away, not directly down. You will get dizzy. One. We're going to do four of these. Two. Three. Four. Walk your feet in. Sitting out nice and tall. Let's go left. Let's take the right knee down. Now, you can keep it directly down to the floor. Make sure this front knee is stacked. I'm going to open up my hip flexor a little bit, and I'm going to take that leg back a little bit further. Shoulders hips towards the left wall. Right hand is up. Let's reach up forward. Release, extend. Reach up forward. Release, extend. Two more times. Reach up forward. Release, extend. Last one. Torso up, arm is down, leg comes up, walk yourself, center. All right, so now I'm gonna go into using our equipment. So the first exercise that I'm gonna do is a pull apart. We're gonna be working the chest, we're gonna be working the front of those shoulders, we're gonna be working our rhomboids a little bit. Whenever you work the chest, you're also going to work the back and any muscles connected. So our primary muscle group is going to be a chest, the chest. We're gonna take our band, I'm gonna put my handles my hands through the handles so I don't give myself a black eye. And then I'm gonna hold the band between my thumb and my fingers. I'm gonna make sure that my feet are planted. If I'm standing, I'm gonna stand with my knees nice and soft. I'm gonna bring my elbows up to shoulder level. I'm gonna bring the band in right above my breast so it's touching my shirt. And I'm gonna keep those wrists nice and neutral. I'm not gonna curl those in. I'm gonna pull my elbows back. It's a very soft movement. I'll turn to the side. And I'm gonna squeeze my shoulder blades together. I'll also turn back, squeeze, release. We're gonna go 10 reps, nice and slow. One, two, 
three, engage those chest muscles. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm gonna give you a couple seconds to rest. And then that second set, we're gonna go a little bit faster. Zip it up, check your form. Your knees stacked on top of the ankles, they should be. Elbows up, we'll say wing ding. Up, pull it in, pull them back. One, two, three, four, chin up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. Then we're gonna do one more set, slow. Check in with your form. Remember, if you're slouching, your low back may hurt later. If you're not hinging correctly during this class, your low back may hurt. We always want to use good posture. Feet are planted. Knees are shoulder width apart. Knees stacked on top of the ankle. Shoulders rolled back down away from the spine. Vertebrae stacked. Imaginary apple is down on top of the head. Elbows up. Pull it in. Right above the breast. Check your wrist. Pull those shoulder blades together. One. Ten reps. Two. Three. Four. Knees 
soft, shoulders back, tummy tight, apples balance, rotate out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten, wonderful, biceps. Okay, so bicep is this muscle group right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the arms, the elbows down at the side. They're resting at the side, they're down at the side, but they're not completely locked into the side. I still want you to be able to work your muscle. I just don't want you to lift the elbows up. If you're lifting the elbows up, that changes it to a shoulder work, not the bicep, and we're trying to work the bicep. So keeping the arms controlled, and I'm gonna turn to the side. So we're gonna bring it up, kinda bring those pinkies in, kinda look at the pinkies. Take it down. Full range of motion for these. 10 reps. One, two, keep them controlled. When you come up, I want you to squeeze them. Three, four, switch it up for these next 10. So we're gonna take it up, we're gonna count it down. One, two, three, four. Here's one. One, two, three, four. Two, one, two, three, four. Three, one, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, Three, four, six, one, two, three, four, seven, one, two, three, four, eight, one, two, three, four, nine, one, two, three, four, last one, one, two, three, four, shoulders back, tummy tight, check your form. Cedars, knees are shoulder width apart. Standers, knees soft. Cedars, stack the knee on top of the ankle. 10 reps, alternate left, right, left, right. That was one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six. Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten. No swinging. Ten. All right. So I'm gonna put one weight down. We're gonna do tricep extension. So I'm gonna sit for this, but you can stay standing. Just because I sit doesn't mean that you have to sit. Let's check our knees. Knees are stacked. Sh shoulders are back away from the ears. Stack the spine. So I'm gonna give you a couple different options of this next exercise. I'm gonna do a tricep extension. So I'm gonna bring it up right here, just a little bit below shoulder level. Thumb is forward, pinkies back. I'm gonna take my left hand and I'm gonna actually put it right underneath this elbow because what I don't want you to do is lock out the elbow. So I'm gonna extend it. I'm gonna pull it back without hitting myself in the face and my apple is balanced. In the gym, these are called skull crushers. So do not hit yourself in the skull. From the side, this is what it looks like. Take it out, bring it in. Do not lock out the elbow and we're sitting up nice and tall. So you can take it from this angle, or you can take it up, or you can take it all the way up. Now some of you may have shoulder issues, so you're not gonna be able to get that arm all the way up. So you wanna do what's comfortable with you that you can keep that apple balance on top of your head. So I'm gonna stay right here for now. Zip, take it out. One, two, three, pull it back. Four, yeah, five, six, seven, slow controlled, eight, two more, nine, and slow transition, take it down. I'm gonna give you a break. 
set two, zip, bring it up, control, take it out. One, I'm gonna lift it up higher this time. Two, three, watch the elbow, four, don't lock it out. Five, six, that's full extension. Seven, eight, that's what lockout means. We're not doing that. I was talking, I don't know what number I was on. I bet you're counting, you count. That's how you can tell that you're breathing. Your muscles need oxygen. You can actually give yourself a heart attack by holding your breath when you do exercise. So I like to have people count up on exertion. Not only does it help me to remember what number I'm on, but it makes you aware that you're breathing. Let's bring it up. I'm gonna take it all the way up this time. 10 reps. One, where's your apple? Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. Bring it in, slow transition. Take it down very carefully. And then we're gonna switch arms. Sitting up nice and tall. Let's lift the elbow. I'm gonna support it, ball the way forward, ball the way back. So you could go here, do not lock out the elbow. You can take it up. Do not lock out the elbow. When you pull the weight back is where you're getting that strength in there. Or you can take it all the way up, take it back. I'll show you what it looks like from the side when you take it all the way up and back. All right. 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, wing ding in, nine, 10. What I mean by that is I don't want it out here. I want that elbow tucked in. Slow transition, take it down. Here's your break. You wanna grab a drink, take a drink. Let your body tell you what it can and cannot do. If it's telling you it's too hard to do this, refrain from doing it. Set two, bring it up and I'm gonna do that second modification. One, two, take it wherever you need it. Three, make sure the apple's balanced. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slow transition, take it down, break. Last set, zip, bring it up. I'm gonna come to the first modification. One, two, don't lock out your elbow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take it down. You're gonna notice that I do things a little bit different in a personal training session than I do in group fitness. All right, so the next exercise, I'm gonna do a little bit of abdominals and I'm gonna do a little bit of hip. So we're gonna make sure that we're standing next to that chair so we can hold on. Ideally, I would like to see you release the hand from the chair and try the balance. And I will demonstrate from a seated position. So I'm gonna do a leg lift with a toe tap. So we're just gonna tap the toe, we're gonna bring it up. We're gonna tap the toe, we're gonna bring it up. You're gonna feel lower abdominals working, you're gonna feel the back side of that hip working. Knees are soft whenever you're standing. Let's lift it, and we're only doing 10 of these, one set. We're gonna tap the toe down, we're gonna bring it up. One, two, try to get it up to 90 degrees if you're able. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, and you can go slower than this if you want. Nine, ten. Shake it out. Shake, 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 shake. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna come to the front of our chair. Regardless if you're sitting, if you're sitting, I'm gonna have you stand. We're gonna align our legs with the legs of the chair, and it would be a great idea if you put this chair against the wall. That way, if you would go to lose your balance, you would just come right down into your chair. 
I, on the other hand, am not gonna do that. I'm gonna sit right back down. I'm gonna push my toes back. Then I'm gonna check my knees when I go down because I wanna make sure that that knee is not going over the toe. If an emergency would happen and your knee's going over your toe, you take a risk of falling on your face or blowing out a knee. And that is the correct way to sit and stand without injuring the knee. I'm gonna move this back onto my yoga mat just because I don't want it to slide on this hardwood. Okay, we're taking it back. We're gonna stand up nice and tall. We're gonna do four of these. Take it back, stand up tall. Really good challenge for you to do on your own is to see how many times you can sit back in this chair and stand up. Let's go to the left. We're gonna do those leg lifts with the toe tap. Make sure you can hold on to your chair. Ideally, I would like to see you, see if you can release. Remember that when we lift this leg, the opposite leg, you're using that right leg as your stabilizing leg. Shoulders back, core is nice and tight. Knees soft, let's take the left leg up, take it down, tap the toe. One, two, three. If you can't get 10, that's fine. Four, do what you can do. Five, six, seven. Seaters can also Close your eyes. Nine. Ten. Shake it out. Yeah, let's do the care bear. Let's bring those feet together. I named this the care bear. Knee soft, circle. One. I heard on a podcast today that nobody is naming their children Karen's and how bad people feel for people named Karen. They're not really Karen's, which would be me. Reverse. One. Two, three, four, good job. Let's have a seat. So now I'm gonna do seated ball roll. If you're wondering what I'm looking at, I have a list underneath my screen to remind me of what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna take this ball. Oh, I'm gonna move back a little bit because you can't see my feet. So weird how I go from Zoom to the actual iPad video and how different the view is. Okay, so we're seated at the front of the chair where the glute meets the hamstring. We're gonna work the quarter step in the hamstring. We're gonna press that leg out. We're gonna pull it back in. 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, break, short break, set two, one, two, try not to look at it, three, sit up tall, four, five, six, seven, eight, you got it, nine, ten, break, last set, press it out, pull it in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch feet. All right, make sure you're seated to where the thick part of your leg meets the behind. We're going to press it out. We're going to roll it back in. One, feeling the quadricep. Hamstring, two, three, four, five, six. Where's your apple? Seven, eight. A little bit of coordination, two, nine, ten. Break. You should really be doing these strength exercises three days a week. If you're new to my channel, and you're a beginner at exercise and you have limitations and you need low impact, this workout would be perfect for you to do. Three days. Take it out, take it in. Two, three, four, five, six. You can do it. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. 
you might not be able to do as many. That's fine. Do what you can do. Each and every person has different limitation, including myself. Press it out. One, two, three, four. No judgment zone here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now this is one of my favorite exercises. So we're going to strengthen the outer thigh. We're also still going to be working on the squatter steps. I'm going to have you take the ball. I'm going to have you scoot all the way back in your chair to where your spine is supported. So when I say scoot back, I don't want to see this. Not that I can see you, but I wouldn't want to see that. What I want to see is you sit up nice and tall. We're taking that ball. We're going to put it on the side of the calf, and you're either holding onto the seat of your chair or back behind your chair because we are going to lift both legs. Let's flex the toes up to the ceiling. Let's take our heels to the floor. Let's lift, and we're going to give those legs a little squeeze. One. Two, three, squeeze right there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give you a break. You can resituate that ball. Make sure you're cautious of your joint. You are below the knee, you're above the ankle. Flex the toe. Ten reps. One, two, Three, let me tight. Four, five, harder it is, louder you count. Seven, eight, nine, ten, break. Last set. One, two, you're almost done. Three, four, woo! Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So now I'm going to take it. We're going to do an adduction. We're sitting up nice and tall, and I want you to press the ball out to where now the toe is going before your knee. And I want you to try not to look at your ball, but we're just going to take it, and we're going to roll it back and forth. We're going to do one set, ten reps. Everybody, check the left knee, side to side. One, two, adduction, abduction. Three, four, five, connective tissue of the hip. Seven, eight, nine, ten. A wonderful hip exercise, but it's hard. I'm not going to lie. Zip it up, and sometimes you might see me do this with a band. You might see me do it with a weight right here. You might see me do more reps. Take it out, 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Tummy tight. Seven, try not to look down at it. Eight, nine, 10. Good, and I have one more exercise for you. We're gonna do a calf raise. So you can stand or you can stay seated, but I'm gonna have you grab your weights. So I'll demonstrate first from a seated position. If you're gonna stay seated, you're gonna rest the weights right here on your quadricep muscles. You're gonna lift up onto the toes and then you're gonna come right back down. If you're standing, I wanna make sure that you can hold on to your chair by putting the weights in one hand, or you could put one weight down, but I wanna make sure that you can hold on to your chair because this is gonna take a little bit of balance. And when we do a calf raise, you don't have to overextend up onto the toes by coming all the way up. All you have to do is lift that heel and you're gonna feel those calf muscles tighten up or contract. Apple balance, belly tight, knees soft. Let's go, one, we're gonna do slow, two, three, it takes more balance to go slow, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, pulse, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, not 
too much bounce, 10 and slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake it out. Let's put those weights away. I'm gonna show you an abdominal exercise that you can do from the chair. All right, so let's plant those feet. We'll do abdominals and then we'll end with stretching. Check our feet, make sure our feet are planted. Knees are stacked on top of the ankle. We're gonna take our hands and we're gonna put them like in a crunch position, opposite hand to opposite shoulder. We're gonna keep our spine aligned, our core muscles are engaged. So when you relax your abdominals, your muscles are not engaged. When you keep them nice and tight and contract them, you're supporting the spine and you're making sure that you're sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna take it back. We're gonna keep that spine aligned so you feel the strength through your muscles, which would be right there for me. And then we're gonna come up. Some of you are gonna be able to come down further than me. Some of you are not gonna be able to come down that far at all. I'm gonna demonstrate from the side. You're taking it back and then you're bringing it right back up. Taking it back, bring it up. But that spine is stacked. My shoulders are not dumped forward, okay? You're gonna hurt your low back if your shoulders are forward. So let's do 10. Take it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And I'm going to let you take some time to do this video and when you get stronger and stronger and stronger you can do this up to three sets or really however many you want but we're just going to do one for right now all right let's engage grab a drink of water i'm going to take you into static stretching right arms up left arms down right palm is to the left wall left palm is to the right wall right wall reaching for the ceiling reaching for the floor nice big in-house nice long deep exhalations Posture exercise. Let's turn the right palm forward. Let's slightly extend the low back. Modified cobra, stretching out the abdominals. Slowly release the right. Let's lift the left, left palm to the right wall, right palm to the left wall. Reach, reach, reach. Inhaling, exhale, challenge. Reach a little deeper into it. Making yourself a little bit taller. Left palm is forward. Slightly extend the low back. Not too much, not to where it's uncomfortable. And release it down. Shoulders, let's lengthen the right arm across the body. Let's scoop the left arm up. Give it a little tug to the left. Make sure your shoulders and hips are both forward. Let's circle the wrist. One, two, three, four. Reverse, one, two, three, four. Palm back to the wall. Let's turn our nose to the left. We'll go over that shoulder, stretch out the neck, upper back. Not that we did much with the upper back, but we did, we do use our neck with every movement. Slowly come to face center, release biceps. When we did those bicep curls, that's what we're gonna stretch now. Let's drop our fingertips down to the floor. We're gonna try to keep our wrists down. We're gonna try to keep our elbows extended. And depending on your joint strength, you can. Put a little bit of pressure on those fingertips and you're gonna feel a better, deeper stretch to the bicep. All right, let's do chest. Let's take the hands back behind our head. Let's open up the chest nice and wide, pull those elbows back to the back wall. And yoga, this is prisoner pose. This is where you're supposed to give me all your money. Pick it up, circle it down. Just kidding, we'll lengthen. Keep it up, give it a little tug, shoulders, hips forward. You're trying to stretch the shoulder, not rip off your arm. Circle the wrist. One, two, three, four, reverse. One, two, three, four. Take the palm back, turn the nose to the right, breathe, stretch out the neck. And 
come to face center. Let's take the left hand, let's inhale, take it up. Exhale, challenge, stretch. Tricep stretch, apples balance. So this is a modification. You're welcome to come up, gripping the elbow with the opposite arm, pulling it to the right, slightly. You get more of a tricep, more of a latch stretch. Or you can just stay here. Regardless, even if you can't get the elbow up, I need your imaginary apple balance on top of your head. Now let's take the right hand back. Don't force it. Can you touch your fingertips? No judgment if you can't. Most people can't. And shake it out. Then we have right arm, tricep, right palm forward. Take it up, challenge stretch. Elbow is up, that's little Charlie. Walk it around. And let's take the left hand back. Can you touch your fingertips? Don't force it, stay with shoulder. And release, let's go calf. So we're taking the heel out. We're seated at the front of the chair where the glute meets the hamstring. Check the left knee. Let's lift our right toe all the way up to the ceiling. Not that you can see my toe, but my heel's planted, my toe is up. Stay here for a couple breaths. Now we're gonna take this right hand up. Let's inhale, zip up the core. Exhale, hinge, can you touch your toes? Stay here, three breaths, inhale. Exhale, challenge, see if you can reach a little further. See, my chin is up. See, I'm hinged from the hip, not from the upper back, not from the waist, so my back's not gonna hurt later. And bring it up, slide it in, quarter step. Step left, right knee comes down. Static stretch this time. In the beginning, I did um, movement stretches. Let's check the front knee. Let's bring the right hand up. Let's reach it forward. Release, extend the low back, keep that hand up. Right here is where you're gonna feel that quadricep stretch, hip flexor stretch, abdominal stretch. Breathe. Bring it up, release, bring the leg up, walk yourself center. Step left, step right, thighs are open, hinge, press those thighs out. Try not to look directly down at the floor. down and away, just not directly down. Bring it up, walk on in. The left heel is out, seated at the front of the chair where the glute meets the hamstring leg, that toe all the way up, calf stretch. Where's your right knee? It's stacked, right? I know it's stacked. Left hand up, inhale. Exhale, hinge. I want to implant it in your brain, belly tight, shoulders back. Engage the core. Balance your apple. Every time, I want you to think of me when you're walking up the steps, and you're hinging forward from the hip at your kitchen table, reaching for something off the floor. Bring it up, slide it in, step right, left knee comes down, hip flexors open. Left hand is up, let's reach. So right here, you're stretching out the back side of that hip. You're stretching out your lat, which is part of your back muscles. Release, extend. Keep that front foot flat on the floor. And you're still looking through this most important middle finger. And bring it up, release. Bring the leg up. Walk yourself center, left hand on the outside of the right thigh. Let's whistle over the right shoulder. Right hand from the outside of the left thigh, close up over the shoulder. And come to face center. Let's outline those shoes with breath. Outline and then reverse. Don't look at them. That's your challenge. Not to look at them. All right, folks, thank you so very much for spending this time with me. Let's
Let's inhale, breathe it up. Exhale, breathe it down. Inhale, breathe it up. Exhale, breathe it down. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, breathe it down. Give yourself a great big hug. Love yourself. Appreciate yourself. Be extremely proud of yourself. You guys are awesome. Open wide. Leading with the opposite arm. If you remember what arm you just led with, give yourself another great big hug. Give yourself a much deserved pat on your own back. You can follow me on Facebook at Karen Rutan Fitness. Email me at Yahoo, Karen Rutan Fitness at Yahoo.com or give me a ring at 330-647-8124. I have many group exercises around your area and also virtual if you're not in the area. Ciao.